what is kombucha? So kombucha is a fermented tea drink, um, very low alcohol, uh, and it's linked to lots of many health benefits. So when I went to visit my friend in San Francisco, they happened to be brewing kombucha. I've never heard of it, never seen it. It's weird stuff floating in a jar. Like, what is it? We didn't even taste it. It came back to Los Angeles, and of course, every Whole Foods had a whole, whole shelves full of kombucha. And I grabbed one, I opened it up, and I took my first sip. She said, fine, um, took me on, and I met her, an amazingly inspiring boy. And he had to go into hospital for some very, very serious operations. Um, and I used to go and visit him every evening. One evening, his mum came in and asked if she could chat with me. She scribbled this thing down on a piece of paper, and she scrunched it up, and she took my hands, and she like grasped my hands in hers, and she put the paper into my hand, and she squeezed it, and she said, this might help you one day. I didn't think a great deal of it. I pushed it into my pocket and went home and unraveled it, and it just had one word written on it. Kombucha. I worry that the market is being diluted by the fake product. Many moons ago, there was an instance where a family of people died from anthrax. The only thing they could find that may have been responsible was the fact that they were brewing kombucha. I am Hannah Crown. My name is Paul Seahorse. Hi, so I'm Rebecca. So my name is Wesley Brown. Marcus and Michelle. There was another case as well where people decided to make kombucha in lead lined pots. Uh, lead is obviously very toxic. That had leached into the kombucha, uh, they drank that and died. We have a chronic problem in society with education. My worry that big pharma kind of gets in on the act yeah. and take over, and then there is literally no room left for the company you, you, selling. You, you the look pharma. at the concept of big pharma, and it's completely the opposite of everything that should be okay. Big Pharma is, I'm going to put something on the market and get it in as many people's mouths as I can, irrespective of whether it's healthy for them, irrespective of whether they need it, and I'm interested only in how much profit I can make.